Hello, this is Pastor Ken Carlson. The Apostle Paul wrote, imitate me just as I imitate Christ. But what does that mean exactly? Paul traveled the regions around the Mediterranean area and every city he entered. His first priority was to preach in the local Jewish synagogue. He could debate the theological and philosophical issues of the day. He suffered great persecution because of the scope and influence of his ministry. And yet he remained single his entire life to stay on task with all that. Paul wasn't telling us to be missionaries in Jewish synagogues in the Mideast. He wasn't referring to actions, but to character. So perhaps an understandable paraphrase of the verse is, imitate me in the way that I imitate Christ. After all, there are others who give us examples to follow. The churches in Thessalonica imitated the churches in Judea by enduring persecution. We are to imitate people like Abraham who waited patiently for God to fulfill his promises. We are to imitate the faith of those whose lives reflect the word of God. And that may be somebody that you know personally. In the first century BC, or perhaps AD, a Greek artist created a marble sculpture based on the myth of Laocoon. The full sculpture shows two boys and their father being attacked by sea serpents. The sculpture was unearthed in Rome in 1506 and is now in the Vatican Museum. Once you see, you cannot forget the face of Laocoon, frozen in perpetual distress and anguish. In 1525, Bacchio Bandinelli sculpted a marble copy which is displayed at the Uffizi Gallery in Florence. In 2021, Alessio Conticelli, a Florence artisan, made a mold to cast the head of Laocoon in plaster. I assume he didn't go to Rome to copy the original since his shop is only a few blocks from, few blocks from the Uffizi. As much as I admire Alessio's work, he would agree that it's just a shadow, a reminder of the original. Comparing just two-dimensional images of the sculptures show how each one evolved with the successive copy of the previous one. Before we could print copies of digital documents, we'd come across photocopies made from photocopies made from photocopies. Make enough copies of copies and they're a blur. When Paul says, imitate me just as I imitate Christ, the focal point is imitating Christ. Others can point us in the right direction, but if we just imitate good people, it becomes a copy of a copy of a copy. Lord, keep us from settling for a good copy. Open our eyes to see and our hearts to experience Christ for ourselves. We want the original imitated by our own lives. In Jesus' name, amen.